in just a couple days, we're going to be starting up school again, and we're pretty excited. We've got a lot of things to get ready. I want to communicate uh, real briefly some things that are going to change just for this semester related to uh, pick up and drop off because of the construction we're doing uh, for our new media center. So uh, coming on campus is going to remain pretty much the same. We had the three areas where people could drop off. So we'll have the area where high school can drop off easily. A quick reminder, always make sure your children get off on the left side of the car, never into traffic. So you have the high school drop off as soon as you come in. If your child, your middle school child, is going to be on the playground, it might be okay for them to just be dropped off right at the turnabout, and that's fine as well. And then we still have the elementary drop-off. And we're going to talk about the elementary drop-off because the construction is going to change some things. But once again, coming in here and allowing your child to get in, we're going to especially have extra adults uh, on uh, hand for those because of related to the construction. I'm going to show you some stuff about the construction and explain some things as well. One of the big aspects of construction on campus, right in the middle, is this. It's related to pick up and drop off. If you see here, you'll notice that it's not possible to get from upper field to the courtyard. Fortunately, that's only for six to eight weeks, but we're going to have to deal with this for right now. Third and fourth grade, we ask that parents that you would drop off at the upper field. K1 and 2, our suggestion is that you use the main gate, come through. We're going to have extra staff there every morning to get them out of the car. We do ask that you don't leave your car and bring your child into the courtyard. That will create too much problems for that. So we ask that you not do that. If you would like to walk your child to class, and we fully understand that, the suggestion would be that you park on upper field and you walk down and come through the main gate. All right, one of the things with uh, the construction is that we've created a walkway and this is going to be really helpful for preschool and middle school. For middle school parents, simply upper field parking is great because they can access this walkway right here, go right by and head right into the middle school. Same with preschool. Preschool parents, I encourage you to bring your child, uh, park on upper field, bring them over to the middle school and walk down there. It's the quickest and easiest way to get to school each morning. As you come from upper field, uh, parents that are in middle school and preschool, this walkway is the easiest and probably the best way to get to and from school. For our middle school parents, your kids are able to walk right into the middle school area because of the bridge that we just created. For preschool parents, bring your children with you and just head down the stairs and you're right there. All right, upper field parking pretty much stays the same. We're still going to have uh, one guard at the front gate, one guard here helping with safety, but we need parents to be really careful. Please drive slowly, be looking for children. Preschool parents, again, we believe this is your best way to get to and from schools, to come through upper field, use the crosswalk, go down into uh, your classrooms. You also notice that we have the school vans, we had to move those, and then past that is actually where the workers, the construction workers, that will be their access. We've created a gate and a walk area to get them to and from the work site for their own, and they'll be parking up there as well. For K1 and 2 parents, um, if you feel uh, that you want to walk your child to, to class, especially maybe that first week or so. Again, what we're suggesting is that you park and walk carefully out onto the sidewalk and come through the front of school. As I said, we are really excited to get the school year going. Uh, appreciate your patience and your grace during the time of construction. We're excited about this building, uh, but for a little while there's gonna be some inconveniences. We're gonna do our best to communicate as much as possible. Please be reading your Galat News, We're looking for information related to, obviously, children's safety, and just aspects of school during the construction. We'll see you in a couple days.